Welcome back to Ray's Garage. I'm Ray Cornelia. In this video, I'm going to share with you my experiences with the Rapid Air Maxline system. Instead of doing a complete video on the installation, uh, I thought I would approach this a different way and show you a close up of the fittings and what's included in the kit, uh, how they go together, and my thoughts on how the system goes together and how it integrates with other systems. So before I do that, uh, let me show you what I have done so far. As you've seen in the previous video, uh, this is the Rapid Air 3 quarter inch regulator and particle separator, which I have plumbed into my 1 inch copper system, neck down to 3 quarter inch. <clears throat> uh, that system basically feeds the new rapid air system at that point there. So let me cut, get on a ladder and show you how I integrated it, the copper into the max line system. Okay, this is my one inch outlet from the regulator. Um, I already had one inch so I, I just used it. Um, what you see here is uh, copper that I have a one inch to three quarter inch national pipe taper adapter into this fitting provided by Rapid Air in the kit. And this is three quarter inch pipe, male, and then it goes to the Rapid Air three quarter inch max line <coughs> fitting. So then I have it up to a T. That's a three quarter inch T, which runs the entire loop. Uh, there's my first drop, and I'll bring you in closer for that. Oh, that screen door's in the way, but I'll bring you. I'll bring you over there. So basically, um, I have one whole complete loop done so far that runs around the entire uh, shop. All my corded, uh, corners are bent radiuses. I did not use 90 degree fittings as, as you can see there. You can make a nice uh, 6 inch radius bend with the tubing and it continues around back to the T. Here's a closer shot of one of the radiuses in the corner. As you can see it's nicely bent. Um, no it doesn't fit super tight in the corner but they do offer a 90 degree fitting if you want that. So now let's take a look at some of the drops. This particular drop basically is one of the provided tees comes down in the same three-quarter inch and there's one of their clamps and I gotta say I like their clamps basically comes all the way down to one of their wall outlets Okay, the wall outlets come with this fitting here, which screws into the block. This, this is a machined aluminum block. Um, this is a separate piece I purchased, which is a 45 degree brass fitting. And this is a half inch NPT. Um, then I have my Prevost Quick Connect fitting. Uh, the outlets also come with a drain and this has a 3 8 pipe thread in it. This is 3 8 pipe thread and like I said before this is a machined aluminum block <clears throat> and I'll show you a close-up of the uh, how it's packaged here in a minute. So this particular drop 
I have the Prevost Quick Connect coming straight out because I'm going to have a workbench right here. Um, I didn't see it necessary to put it on a 45 degree angle. Um, there is one thing um, that I didn't like and I'm going to make a backing plate for this is that the holes uh, don't line up uh, on the stud. Uh, you could screw one side of it in but then you have the other side hanging off. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make some aluminum plates that this outlet screws to with uh, two screws in the middle. So it, it, it mounts to the stud and it's centered because I have all my drops centered on the stud as you can see with their clips. There's another clip and then a T which continues around the top of the shop. Okay, I showed you how the system integrates from copper to the MaxLine system. Now I want to show you how you can integrate it into another um, fitting. So this is just the T in my loop, which I have coming up. I hope the light doesn't blow this out. Okay, then I have one of their fittings right here, and that's half inch pipe to the Max Air with a T. And I have their uh, drain hooked to the push connect fitting. That's going to be for my power draw bar on the milling machine. And then I have another outlet here plugged right now for a future uh, airline. So that's going from max line to a standard uh, steel pipe fitting to a drain, then the quick connect. Okay, on that previous outlet, I was using the drain as a on-off for my power draw bar. Uh, this one, I have the option of doing that as well, but right now it's set up with nothing in it. So what I did here is I have a wall outlet basically teed in off the loop, clips along the truss to the outlet, and I have a 45 degree and I have a uh, coil hose. Basically this is going to be used for both the lathes. Okay, here's another drop. That's a T in the system. Comes down with the three quarter inch max line. And I have my Prevost Quick Connect in the uh, rapid air uh, wall block and this is going to be a workbench too so I'm doing a straight one here uh, these outlets are half inch pipe taper uh, so I have an adapter to take it to uh, the quarter inch pipe for the Prevost adapter and they're the high flow adapters by the way the high flow um, connects Okay, so now that you've seen what I have accomplished so far, um, I do have a working system, but I am adding some more drops and I'm also adding a connect for my hose reel. Um, so now let's take a closer look at the fittings and the tubing. Okay guys, like I mentioned, um, the tubing is flexible and it holds its shape once you bend it. Uh, and basically it's uh, PEX, aluminum, and PEX. So it's a three layer tube um, with that thin aluminum layer in the middle, sandwiched in the middle. <clears throat> uh, I'll demonstrate how easy it cuts. This is a provided tool from Rapid Air. Um, it's basically like a uh, smaller version of a PVC cutter. Um, they tell you they tell you that you want to kind of ring it as you're cutting it because you always want a nice square cut. So they tell you to move your wrist a little bit, but it, it cuts pretty easy. As you can see, pretty decent cut. 
So after cutting the tubing to length, um, this is a provided reaming tool and it has uh, sizes for the one inch, three quarter and half inch and as you can see it's got two little metal shoulders that actually do the tapering of the end of the tube. So um, I found it easier to add some soapy water. And basically this just goes in here. You, you can see that it took a little of the inside of the tubing out and squared off the outside portion. Uh, let's see if you can see that taper there. Not sure if you can see that or not, but what it does is it tapers that inside corner, which helps you uh, slip it over the fitting easier. Okay, so once you have it cut to length and uh, reamed or tapered, you want to install it in your fitting. Okay, so let's take a look at these fittings. Um, this is a nickel coated material. I'm not sure of the steel they use. Um, as a matter of fact, let me grab a magnet and see if they're magnetic. I'm feeling a very slight pull right here. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe a, a, a cast material. Yeah, there's a, there's a slight pull here. Not very magnetic, though. But this does look like a, a good quality nickel coating on here, though. So basically, what you have is you have the locking nut, you have the collar, and then the fitting itself. And as you can see, it's got two O-rings on the fitting, and it's a tapered tip. You have your split ring, which is also tapered a bit and then your oops then your fitting which has a taper on the inside so basically now what you do is you take your prepared end of the tubing um, I like to lubricate it with a little soapy water um, you take your nut slide your nut on, your split ring, and then you'll see there's a white uh, ring in the shoulder. You're supposed to seat this up against there. Then you've tightened the fitting, hand tight. You make two witness marks and you want to go three quarters of a turn or until tight is what's recommended. Um, what I have found is that it helps tremendously to put a little bit of lube, uh, some type of uh, oil on the threads. Um, even the soapy water helps because um, if you do it dry, you're going to pick up a little chattering when you're tightening it. And it's, it's just not a smooth, uh, it, it's not smooth when you go to tighten it, it kind of chatters a bit. So any type of... Um, I was using the soapy water at first and then I used some Sterrett M1, I believe, uh, with a Q-tip on the threads and it helped a lot. Um, I have to honestly say that after connect, connecting all the T's and the drops, I had zero leaks. I didn't have one leak. I charged the system overnight. Um, I didn't lose not even a half a pound of air. Uh, so I got to give kudos to um, engineering specialties because they make a very good quality fitting um, and I had no leaks from the get-go okay so this is their they call it an equal T that's an equal T and then this is one of the fittings that have the um, half inch uh, pipe taper to the three-quarter inch um, max line 
they make a coupler, 90s, and then of course here's your equal T packaged. Okay, so I saved one wall outlet uh, complete, and what I'll do is um, I'll show you how these all go together. So there's the package, and then uh, I'll cut and move the camera and show you how it all goes together. Uh, before I assemble the wall outlet, I wanted to show you guys uh, something else too that I found pretty interesting about these fittings. Um, these fittings both, there's a barb, there's a barb right here, and then your two O-rings. There's also a barb on the split ring too. So it's, um, it's basically squishing the barb on both sides of your tubing, the outside and the inside, um, for a leak-free connection. So um, let's get to that wall outlet now and get her together. Here's everything that comes with the uh, wall air outlet kit. You have a machined aluminum block. You have a port on the back side in case you want to feed this outlet from the back. Uh, you have your half inch pipe for your uh, fitting. You have a half inch outlet threaded port and you have a 3 8 threaded port for the drain. Um, the drain is also tapped 3 8 pipe. So you got a 3 8 pipe male and female. And it's a little, it's a little ball valve. And that goes in your bottom for, the, for a water drain. Um, they give you one brass plug. Uh, where you can either use it on the back side or top side, um, that's half inch pipe. So they recommend um, Teflon tape and pipe sealer. The Teflon tape is to, uh, so you don't get galling basically from dissimilar metals and most of you are familiar with that. So uh, let me get everything together and we'll start putting it together.
depending on your application, um, you could pick these 45s up. This is half inch pipe, um, and this is a half inch to quarter adapter. Uh, so it's up to you how you'd like to do this. You could screw an air hose directly to this. You can use your uh, adapter and put your normal quarter in there. Um, you could put your 45 in there with an adapter and your coupler. It's, uh, it's up to you, uh, however you want to run your system. Um, but there you have it guys. Okay, so let me reposition and um, I want to give you some specs on the tubing and fittings and uh, give you my final thoughts on the system. Then of course, um, once you have your wall outlet completed, uh, just like I showed you, You're in business. There's your drop. Okay, so uh, let me get this out of the way and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts and some specs on the system. Before I get into the specs of the system, I want to mention that I am not affiliated in any way with Engineer Specialties or Rapid Air. Um, this system was not given to me. I paid full price for it. Um, I purchased it on Amazon from the UPE group. Uh, they seem to have the best price. Um, I can tell you that I had to contact um, Rapid Air and their technical support is bar none top quality. Um, they answered all my questions um, immediately. I, was, I didn't have to wait on hold. I got right through. Um, so kudos to their tech support team. Um, and again, I am not affiliated. The system was not given to me. I purchased it and paid full price. Okay. Um, the reason I mention that is because um, I get certain comments that whenever I do a review on a tool or system, that uh, they feel it's impartial because it was given to me. Okay, um, nothing's been given to me. Everything I have in the shop, I purchased, and I give you my honest review of it. Um, if it's not a good system, I'll tell you. If it's not a good tool, I'll tell you. I'm honest. Um, I pay full price, just like you guys do. So anyway, with that, let's get into the specs. So let me give you some specs um, on the fittings and tubing itself. Um, the fast pipe system is a rigid uh, tubing system. Uh, they have it up to, oh, I believe over one inch. Um, if you're really anal about your installation, you may want to consider the fast pipe system since it is a straight rigid line. But I also observed something interesting too. The uh, max line has a larger inside dimension uh, than the fast pipe system. Like I compared the two three quarter inch systems. Um, for example, the fast pipe three quarter inch um, has a uh, 790 thousandths outside dimension. Um, <clears throat> the inside dimension is, oh, I don't have that spec, I'm sorry, damn, okay. Um, the max line, in comparison, and this is how I know the fast pipe has a smaller ID, the max line system, which I installed in three quarter inch, has an inside dimension of 800 thousandths and an outside dimension of 980 thousandths. So the, the ID um, is larger than the OD of the fast pipe in the three quarter inch 
um, system. Uh, again, the tubing is HDPE, AL, HDPE, which is basically PEX, aluminum PEX. Um, it's rated at, uh, the max line system is rated at 200 PSI at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and 160 PSI max at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the name of the company that makes the rapid air system is called Engineered Specialties LLC. The, um, let me grab it, I put it away already. The T, um, the nut is one inch 420 thousandths or one inch 2764 uh, is close. Um, this part of the T here is 780 thousandths or 2530 seconds. Um, adjustable works just fine on them. Like I mentioned before, a little lubrication goes a long way with these guys. Um, overall, I think they're very good quality. It's a very uh, good quality fitting. Uh, I like the tubing. Um, I would recommend two people for the installation. Uh, the fast pipe system, you may be able to do one guy because it's already a straight tube. But the max line, you have to unroll it off the roll. You have to hand form it to get it straight. Um, I started doing it by myself a little after work every day and then Phil came uh, last Saturday and helped me finish out the system. Actually it's not finished but it's working. Uh, like I said I want to add some more drops. Uh, so I recommend uh, two people for the installation. Um, it goes together very well. It's a pretty well thought out system. It's pretty simple. Um, like I said I had a zero leak from the get-go. Um, to be honest, I was expecting a fitting or two or a connection to leak and uh, we took our time prepping the ends and tightening the fittings to the proper torque and we didn't have a problem. Um, it's been a whole week. The system's been charged for a week now and I haven't lost any air at all. Even with the little bit of temperature change, it's, it's, I charged it to over 150 PSI and it's held with no problem. And so I'm very happy about that. So all in all, um, I give the system a thumbs up. I would highly recommend it. It's not cheap. It is cheaper than copper. Um, it is cheaper than um, black pipe unless you already have it on hand. Um, and please don't use PVC guys. Um, it's dangerous. Um, a lot of people have it in their shops and have had it in their shops for a very long time without a problem. But guys, is it worth your eyes or your safety um, if that system were to explode? So, you know, don't do it, man. Um, I considered doing it because it's so inexpensive and so easy, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So, um, I spent the money for the Rapid Air Max Line system and it gets the raised garage stamp of approval. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all your comments and questions and uh, stay tuned for the next video.